listening to 105.1 FM, high enough up on the dial that it is not public radio, but suspiciously too artsy and enlightening to be anything else. Up next, we bring you Time Capsule, a piece by Michelle Gu and Maria Dumlau. First it was windy, but then it one just minute, went it was sunny calm, and bright. The next and the minute it looked like night, greenish ash color. falling everywhere. They were part of a myriad of storms that ripped across the country. The shaking got worse and worse. Uh, I don't know exactly how long it lasted. Right it seemed like it, it went on forever. Of Swaying feet high. Shut and places. Oh my God! Sending millions into shelter. The course of the swirling water swept away, and apparently there are more that could hit. We could see the the power lines, the flashing, and everything in the so this looks like it is some sort of a concerted effort to attack. Multiple explosions, ladies and gentlemen. We just, just saw we just another, another explosion. explosion. You see that, uh, that huge ball of fire like that just went up. A when you hear us tell you to get to your basement, I want right you now to what is not walk. The NASA I want you to says run in down into your storm shell. Whether this is the will of God, and sunspots and things that could mess up satellites and some electronics. An accident of the natural world. There is no record in geology in the last 4,000 years of anything like this happening before. The tremendous lateral blast is what we have been fearing uh, for the longest time here apparently has come to pass a disastrous poisonous snakes out there fire and the fear is these reactors could be headed for a mine jam. These medical technologies like this, our navigation systems for our airlines are connected to this, communication systems, emergency communication systems can be internet, so many things. Black smoke has been pouring out of huge holes in the upper portion of the electromagnetic problem. They were billowing up almost like in big pillow sort of structures. You can head. overheat, melt, and release a large amount no of radioactivity. One Poison of the most massive Radiation levels have years. surged. The sun is waking up, he says, from a deep slumber. No water at the faucets, no electricity, no computer. I find food here and there. Our house was destroyed, so I live in another one. It's cold. Downtown looks so far away now. It's hard to say where anything was. I don't even have a bike. Maybe I could still leave one day. It's funny to think how my parents were so worried about me all the time. Where I was going. With whom. What I was doing with my life. Now they're gone. Nobody tells me what I'm supposed to do. I don't have to do anything. Now I can do absolutely nothing, if I want to. Well, I have to find food. And water. It's so hard to tell if the water is contaminated or not. Water. I remember, it was so easy. There was so much of it. I remember staying in the shower for 20 minutes. The shower would be nice right now. My parents, they were so busy, they never had the time for anything. 
with all his work, running around, hurrying, going to this place, that place, the other place. No time for anything. Now we would have time to talk. Lots, lots of time. My friends and I would always hang out down here after school, with the smell of the fumes from the traffic and the glare from the billboard. Jake was living so close, he would come with his dogs. We used to make them run around. It seems like a weird place to hang out with the noise and all, but it's not like we could go to downtown Richmond. One day, we decided to hide this box at the base of one of the pillars. We each left something in the box. A book, a drawing, a photo, a poem, a rock, a bead. I remember we talked a lot about all the things that were going on at the time. The messed up system and all that. Saying we couldn't take it anymore. All the lies and the wars and the destruction. And then, then that day arrived. I guess we got a response. None of that exists anymore. None of everything, really. I don't know how I'm alive. Or why. I don't remember what much of what happened either. But all I know is there's nothing left here. The box. I came I came back to look for the box. It's still here. There are a few people around here. I found Lisa a month ago. At least I have her. We walk around. We found some books. We draw. We remember things. I remember things. I remember taking cold sips of lemonade. After working in the yard. Driving to the beach. With the windows rolled down and the radio turned up blaring so loud, catching up with my brother while we shoot hoops, Jake's crooked smile. Once, my great-grandmother told me that when World War II began, you could see the real nature of people. Those who were greedy, they immediately got into the black market to make some money out of people's misery. And then there were those who always helped the best they could. And those who disappeared in an every man for himself kind of way. But we don't see many people around here in this. This is not war. It is way beyond war. It is calm. It's amazing how all the noise is gone.